Hi, I'm the Oracle of Apollo, and this reading is just for Libra uh, on Divine Encounters tonight, Sunday night. I always go live, but we run out of time, so I'm going to do this video just for Libra. We're going to simplify things and use one camera. <clears throat> if you want to watch a full reading for this week, make sure you go to Horoscope Zodiacs Forecast Blessings for this week and go to the timestamp and check out your reading. Okay, so Libra. You have intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities, Libra. I also don't feel like this could even just be a new person, but also an existing person. But it's something about them that, like an onion, right? Like it's unlayered, unveiled. Something about them is unveiled and you can see more clearly or more deeply into this particular individual's uh, soul, and it draws you even closer together. Your secondary card, your first card is, if you didn't watch Divine Encounters and you're just watching this uh, Libra reading, um, the first card is the foot of the mountain, which you're bringing onto the mountain, your strengths that you're carrying onto this journey. The second card is the mountain, which is the journey itself. And then the third card is the summit, which is the outcome. So your second card is take responsibilities for your actions. Sometimes we ourselves can maybe be too blunt or direct or uh, not saying things as, as kindly and it could hurt other people's feelings. And then we might just go, well, it's the truth. So I like to ask myself before I'm going to state something. Is it true? Is it kind? And is it necessary? And if it passes all these tests, then I will say it. Because you can say something truthful and, and also say it kindly. But really, is that unsolicited opinion necessary at this point in time? So it's kind of like ask yourself these three things before you're speaking. And then if you do accidentally put your foot in your mouth, so to speak, Make sure that you recognize that you're not perfect, and but still apologize because if we hurt someone else's feelings, um, we should apologize by hurting them, even if it's not our intention. Like, I'm sorry, that wasn't my intention. Um, it's just as simple as that. Okay. And then we have here your summit card. Believe in the impossible. Blue moon. Uh, today is a full moon. 822 and it is literally a blue moon so i feel like if you're asking for a yes or no i feel like this is going to be a yes if you have that in your head or if you're looking for a time frame i want to say that the timing is right because just literally because of this synchronicity right here but blue moon means something that we see once in a we have a slogan right or saying a phrase once in a blue moon like once in a really big while and that's because blue moon actually doesn't happen for uh, one every few years. It takes a few years. So allow yourself to dream big, believe in the impossible, and don't limit yourself by potential. Just allow yourself to be open in whichever manner that comes to you or whichever way it looks and just be open to receive. Your animal this week, dolphin, live joyfully in the present moment. With that opening to receive, it's going to let the need for control, the need for perfectionism, the need for how things should look, it's going to let it fall away because you are not worried about or concerned about the next best thing or the next moment. When you're living presently in the moment, anxiety doesn't exist. When you're living presently in the moment, worry is is not happening because you're here you're you're in that exact sphere you're in a tactile and if you're living in joy you're living in the now you're not thinking about last month or next month you're living in the now because you're enjoying yourself so find the joy in all the moments all the now moments seek them here is your message from heaven i am so much better now so if you needed to hear a message from heaven I also feel like this symbol here with the rainbow is uh, letting you know to look for rainbows from this particular loved one. And I also feel like with this 
um, a loved one could have passed and some time has already gone by and maybe here on earth things didn't get dealt with before they're crossing but it's kind of like once they have crossed over and they get their sea legs so to speak they're they're good okay so i just feel like i'm so much better now so what was what was is no longer and finally your angel blessing libra angel casual blessing you with grace make sure you claim your angel blessings because the angels want to work with you, but they respect your free will. And Angel Sarah, blessing you with simplicity, Libra. So I hope this serves you. Thank you so very much. I apologize that we ran out of time tonight. Um, I would love to see you guys Wednesday nights and Sunday nights when I live stream at 7 p.m. Eastern time with Divine Encounters. Catch it here on YouTube. Um, may you all go in love, light, and wisdom to know thyself, love thyself. And remember, the divine always has your back. Ciao.